15 Amazing Secret Spots You Have to See in London London is one of the most well-known cities in the world and has many famous attractions. But if you have yet to explore its hidden gems, you're only getting a partial picture of the city. Some of the first places tourists go to when they arrive in London are Buckingham Palace, Big Ben, the London Eye, Piccadilly Circus, and Covent Garden. But in every big city, there are many unexplored places and some beautiful hidden spots. Hello and welcome to Paradise Planet. Make sure you stick with us till the end of this video. We will take you through 15 unexplored places in London that will definitely amaze you. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more travel-related content and turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever we post a new video. So, let's get straight into the video. Number 15, Aklam Village. Aklam Village is one of the coolest secret gems in London within walking distance of both Ladbroke Grove and Westbourne Park tube stations. All year long, Aklam Village is accessible. Depending on the season, you can enjoy a cold beams or a hot milled wine from Bar 58. After a stroll through Portobello and Goldborn Road Market's antique treasures, Aklam Village can be added to your list of favorite hidden places in London to enjoy the flavors and aromas of food from all over the world and become engrossed in the live music in awe of the brilliant musicians. Number 14, Christ Church Grey Friars this old church building has been transformed into a beautiful garden which is a really wonderful place to behold as it is seldom visited by a lot of people. The church was initially constructed in the 13th century and first burned down in 1666 during the Great Fire of London. Then Sir Christopher Wren, one of England's most well-known architects and the man behind St. Paul's Cathedral, had it reconstructed. After that, the church was bombed in its current form during London's 1940 Blitz. The church was reduced to a shell, with only half of the building still standing. The church former structure is now a tranquil rose garden in the heart of London. This garden is the ideal area to take a break from your tourist activities and enjoy some peace and quiet. Christ Church Grey Friars is just around the corner from St. Paul Cathedrals and St. Paul Station. Number 13, God's Own Junkyard. Next on our list is Waltham Stowe's God's Own Junkyard. There are fascinating and energizing light installations inside this museum that will appeal to all tastes and be a genuine fist for the eyes. You can take pleasure in exploring a unique assortment of flashing fairground and circus lighting, psychedelic throwback signage, glossy mirror balls, and vintage movie props. Order a beverage, burger, or afternoon tea from the on-site Rolling Scones Cafe after seeing the installations. God's Own Junkyard is accessible to the general public on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and is free to enter. Although cameras are not allowed, using a cell phone to take pictures is fine. Number 12, Royal Arcade. The stunning Burlington Arcade is the subject of considerable discussion over Mayfair's shopping arcades. The entrance to the Royal Arcade can be found if you pause halfway along Old Bond Street and turn your head at just the proper time. Whether you believe this is a well-kept London secret depends on how much you enjoy shopping for expensive goods. It's generally advisable that the rest of the people take some time to walk about and marvel at the stunning Victorian buildings. Number 11, Homestead Hill Garden and Pergola. The Hampstead Hill Garden and Pergola, located in the Golders Green neighborhood off of Hampstead Heath proper, is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful London hidden gems. A philanthropist constructed it as the garden of his opulent home where he would entertain the low life of London society before, later in the 20th century becoming a public park. The finished product resembles the Garden of Eden and is an extravagant sight to behold. Number 10, Nunhead Cemetery 
Are you tired of attempting to organize yourself so that you can purchase tickets for the highly anticipated Highgate Cemetery? Highgate is only one of the magnificent seven Victorian cemeteries that encircle what were previously London's outskirts. There are six different cemeteries that you can visit to satisfy your craving for a hauntingly gorgeous Victorian Gothic graveside scene. Nonhead Cemetery is the least frequented of them all, yet we we'll believe it to be the most beautiful. It was turned into a wildlife reserve after being allowed to become completely wild in the second part of the 20th century. In order to explore, one must meander along curvy roads while dodging obstacles like trees and gravestones, all in a serene environment. Number 9. Neil's Yard are you interested in exploring a courtyard that gives the impression that you have entered a little village? Then you should look at Neil's Yard. In the heart of London, Neil's Yard is one of these incredible hidden jewels. It is surrounded by vibrantly colored structures that house cafes, restaurants, and retail establishments. Every company in Neil's Yard is dedicated to providing ethical and environmentally friendly services to its clients. Even if you are only in London for a single day, you should visit Neil's Yard for a drink, a pedicure, or even one more meal before departing. Number 8. Pergola Hills The Pergola and Hill Garden is the next item on our list. You should visit this location because it is undoubtedly one of London's coolest hidden gems. This garden, which is hidden inside Hampstead Heath in the northern part of the city, is the ideal location for a peaceful vacation in nature because it is not too busy, especially during the week. You should consider taking a stroll through Pergola and Hill Garden to get a sense of the enchanting, mystifying vibes. This location is particularly calm and serene in the winter, with blossoms and vines visible at every turn in the spring and summer. The entire area is covered in orange leaves in autumn, and it is a lovely location to explore at any time of year. Number 7. Primrose Hill Primrose Hill is a neighborhood in North London that is close to the Regent's Park, one of London's most picturesque parks. One of the best 360-degree panoramic views of the city can be seen atop Primrose Hill. On a summer evening, it's the ideal location for a picnic with friends and of course, watching the sun go down. It's not just a great place to visit in London because of the breathtaking views, it also has a magical ambience. And walking to Primrose Hill and Regent's Park is like living the bustling city in crowds. Who wouldn't want to experience this? Something you must add to your list while you are in the area is walking around Primrose to find colorful and bright houses. Number 6. St. Dunstan's in the East St. Dunstan's in the East is a must-visit if you want to experience what seems like a magical fairy tale without living London. You'd never know that this secret park is located in the heart of London, halfway between London Bridge and the Tower of London. Actually, it's the remains of a church that was destroyed in the Great Fire of London in 1666. It was given the name St. Dunstan after the monk of the same name. The ruins were subsequently transformed into a park open to the public and they are a wonderful sight. This is what distinguishes St. Dunstan in the East as a unique location, not to mention one of the most picturesque spots tucked away in the heart of London. Number 5. One Tree Hill One Tree Hill succeeds at being one of the hidden gems in London that you might not have even heard of, much less visited. As you climb One Tree Hill which is perched on a hill covered in trees, you'll be rewarded with some impressive views of the city skyline that are framed by the tree line. You will love the view. Number 4. The Coach and Horses Pub the Coach and Horses Pub is the fourth on our list. 
the coach and horses is without a doubt one of London's loveliest pubs if we're talking about appearance. Although the Tudor Benton building appears to be a sharp contrast to its surroundings, it is believed to be the oldest structure on Bruton Street. Even though it's considered a secret location, I'll caution you that the locals are definitely aware of it. The pub only sits 50, so you'll need to get there early if you actually want to grab a drink inside. Number 3. The Tulip Stair Since Greenwich is home to so many famous London monuments including the Cutty Sword and the Observatory, it may be tempting to end the discussion there, but you'd be missing out. The Queen's House is the first entirely classical structure in England and home to one of the most significant art collections in the area. Yet, few people have even heard of it, let alone visited it. The stunning flower stair, tulip stair, so named because of the exquisite tulip designs on the iron railings, is also located in this mansion. The Tulip Stair, the first cantilevered spiral staircase in the UK, is a triumph of architecture. But it also helps to add that it is one of the prettiest places in town because of its graceful beauty. Number 2. Strand Station Only a select few people have been able to enter this special place. It will never be among the list of the most visited places in London. The London Transport Museum only occasionally makes this station available for excursions which may make you wonder what makes it a unique destination. It is quite uncommon to have a permit to investigate it. It was a crucial location that the local authorities exploited as a bunker during World War II. Because of its strategic location and robust construction, it was the ideal spot for Londoners to hide out and defend themselves from bombing. The station also has a ghost story associated with it, as if all these facts weren't enough justification to try to arrange a tour of it. It is rumored that a young actress ghost returned to hunt it. Therefore, whenever you plan a trip to London, contact the London Transport Museum. You never know, they might let you see this historic location. Number 1. The Sky Garden are you eager to behold the 360-degree view of London? The Sky Garden is then a location you must go to. It's one of the most distinctive dining experiences available in London. It has some of the most incredible views of London and is situated on levels 34 to 37 of the skyscraper known as Walkie Talkie. You can see the city below thanks to the floor-to-ceiling glass walls that surrounded the whole perimeter of the Sky Garden. The Sky Garden is one place you can go for free, but because there is little room, you'll need to schedule your visit in advance. You must make your reservation up to two weeks in advance to secure your early time slot. Thank you for sticking till the end, so which of these secret spots are you planning to visit? Feel free to share in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and want to see a part 2, smash the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to enjoy more travel-related content and turn on our post notification to be the first to know when we drop new videos. Bye!